It is. I, I, I got some married friends, man, and they're all in the marriage pool swimming around, you know? And I think marriage is kind of like a cold pool that nobody really tells you about. You know what I mean? You're like, you got all your friends in there swimming around. They're like, come on in. The water's great, man. So you're like, fucking A, I'm jumping in. And you jump in and you're like, fuck, it's cold in this motherfucker. And the guys are like, yeah, man, you got to swim around to stay warm. You got to keep moving. You got you to gotta do some shit. You know, this ain't a free ride. And once you're in the cold pool, do you really want to fucking get out? Because getting out is going to be worse than getting in. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, so I think I found the solution between dating and marriage. Date married women. <laughs> Fuck yeah. That takes all the pressure off of it. You ain't got to worry about scoring anymore. You know what I mean? You don't have to fucking... It's okay to honk when you pick her up. You know what I mean? You don't have to, you don't have to go to the door unless you want to meet her husband. You know, it's optional. It's optional. You don't have to hold hands while you're walking through the museum. No. You don't even have to slow down when you drop that bitch off. You just tuck and roll, bitch, you know? She's the one that's got to explain the road rash on her knees and elbows, not you. Not you. She has to explain that road rash, fellas. Just let her out. Chuck and roll, baby. Chuck and roll. If it was a good date, I'll pick you up next week. I'll bring you some wax. Uh, so I was standing in the store the other day, and I saw this magazine in the rack, and on the cover it said, What Women Want. And I said, Fuck, I need to read that motherfucker. That might be some good information to have. It might help them go home with me eventually. You know what I mean? So I opened it up, and it, what does it say? It says, The number one thing a woman wants in her man is a sense of humor. And I said, That is bullshit. Because if that was the case, I'd have to beat him off with a stick. And I got the stick, but no women to beat. I don't understand. Uh, so, anyways, I don't think women want a man with a sense of humor. I don't. Because have you ever tried to tell jokes in bed? You got to be fucking clever. You do. You have to use shit that's going to get her involved, too. You know what I mean? Shit like, knock, knock. Come on, baby, knock, knock. I like those clever women that come up with those answers like, nobody's home. And I'm like, what the fuck do you mean nobody's home? I'm right here. She's like, maybe you ought to look through the keyhole first to make sure. But that shit won't last long, tell us. Because she'll get tired of hearing, and you'll be back to knock, knock in no time. Orange. Orange, you glad I'm fucking her tonight and not you? In that same magazine, in that same magazine, I read right underneath that it said that a man's sexual prime is from the years 18 to 22. And I said, bullshit again. I was like, this magazine ain't got shit right. Because when you're 18 to 22, it's like somebody gave you a brand new Uzi that you don't know how to use. You're just shooting that shit off anywhere and everywhere. You're like... <laughs> and if you do hit something, you're like, sorry. <laughs> it's because it was a fucking accident. You couldn't do that shit again even if you wanted to. You couldn't. You couldn't do it again. But when you hit like 24, 25, 24, 25... You trade that fucking Uzi in for a sniper rifle. Oh, yeah. You'd be like, target acquired. 72.6 degrees south. Range to target one and a half meters. Wind slightly left to right. Fire when ready. And then you get out of that bitch and you're like, you're welcome. <laughs> so I got all pissed off and I put that magazine back because I'm like, that magazine fucking blows. But check it out. When I put that magazine back, right next to it was a hunting magazine. And I was like, fuck. 
This guy was standing on the cover with his big old eight-point fucking bull, his fucking record breaker, and I'm like, damn. And they were all dressed like a fucking tree to get that motherfucker. Like, head to toe, looked like a bush and shit. I was like, are there even there? What the fuck? I love how they whisper on the hunting channel all the time, don't you? Like, even when they're not even out hunting, like, they're at the dinner table, they're still whispering, like, damn, that was some good hunting. Oh, yeah, I can't wait to go tomorrow. It's going to be fun. You know? But I started thinking about it. I was like, what about a camouflage condom? You could sneak up on any pussy and never, they would never know you came. They wouldn't know. Yeah. You could sell them to hunters everywhere. You could. You could market them with little calls for dead an- for baby animals. Baby animals. Like a kitten. Because you know how women can hear a kitten in trouble from like 10 miles away. Yeah. They'd be shopping in the frozen food section. They'd be like, yo, girl, did you hear that? Yeah, there's a baby kitten in trouble. Let's go to the red convertible. And they're gone. They're out to rescue that kitten. And what are you? You're the camouflage condom hunter. You're out there in the field waiting for whispering. Here she comes. Oh, shit, she's a trophy. Oh, she's a record breaker. I'm taking this one. I'm taking her. All right. One shot, one kill. That's how the hunters do So I recently discovered proof that God is a man. He is. I don't give a fuck what you ladies say. He is a man. And the proof has been staring you in the face forever. Forever. If you've ever seen a dick in a pair of balls, you know that a man did that. Because there is nothing pretty or attractive about it. You could tell that he was in a hurry. He was like, shit, the game's on. It's double overtime. Fuck! That'll do. It looks good from my house. (laughs) But could you imagine if God would have took his time and he would have, like, made it look like a designer purse? Like a Gucci bag? There wouldn't be a woman out there that wouldn't want to see your balls. They'd be issuing amber alerts out there. They'd be having fucking signs on the freeway. Pull over and show me your balls. Women be coming up to you in that checkpoint. They'd be like, let me see your balls. <laughs> oh, my God. These are cute balls. Aren't they cute balls, Dana? <laughs> oh, yes. Those might be the cutest balls I've seen all day. <laughs> oh, yeah. Cute balls are so cute. Oh, my God, girl. Look. Oh, my God. These ones match my shoes. Look, they match my shoes. Oh, my God. You're coming home with me to meet my mother. Come on. Let's go. Good looking. cute balls you know or or even like a crown royal bag you know like purple and velvety with your name on the side you know what i mean wax that shit's sexy it even matched my suit somebody was like wax you need to rename the reverse cowgirl position and i was like oh i can take care of that no problem we're gonna call that angry sex because you know you in trouble she doesn't even want to look at you you know she doesn't She doesn't even want to look at you. She just wants to watch her fuck herself in the mirror. She's just like, fuck you. You're not even here. All I see is a pair of legs. Uh, What about tossing salad? Yeah, you know what I came up with that? Wine tasting. Because you know you're going to whine after you taste that shit, right? And you know there's only certain fish you can eat while you're Taste in wine, right? Oh, shit. What about anal? Anal. I think anal just sounds like ass. It does. It sounds terrible. I think, I mean, you can ask any porn star. They'll be like, yeah, I do it all except for anal. But if we called it parallel parking, less people would fucking shy away from it. You know what I mean? Because everybody's done a little parallel parking. You know, you know, if you're going to have an accident, it's bound to be minor. There's not a lot of speed involved, you know. Exactly, exactly. And you can tell that God didn't really, he was in a hurry when he measured out the woman's parking lot, too, because the spaces are too close together. They are. When you pull into that fucking spot, man, and you open your door, you slam it into the car next to you. Next thing you know, you're leaving a post-it note on her forehead with your name and insurance information. 
You're trying to back out of there like she didn't see you. You know? I'm Chuck Wax. You guys have been a great crowd. Thank you for coming out tonight. <laughs>